Meek Mill says he has no idea why you keep associating his name with Diddy. And he's going to pay 100K to find out. I want to hire an investigative team, 100K cash, to find out every specific detail involving Meek Mill name to Diddy. I also want them to look at who is powering the media involving Meek. Anything to do with Buddy. Something not right. What up, world? It's your boy Charles Brown back again talking facts. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Keep sending those cash apps to CLBMG. I appreciate you, gang. I just hit 10,000 subscribers today. I'm proud of you guys for following me. I appreciate the love. But guess what? Meek Mill does not understand why you keep associating his name with Diddy. He went on X, a.k.a. Twitter, and said he's going to hire a private investigator to figure out why every time he go online, every time he log on, one of you dudes is associating his name with Diddy. He cannot figure it out. I'm going to read what he wrote on Twitter and we're going to have a conversation. He said, I want to hire an investigative team, 100K cash, to find out every specific detail involving Meek Mill name in regards to the Diddy case. I also want to look at who's powering the media involving Meek. Anything to do with Buddy, a.k.a. Diddy. Something not right. So Meek Mill feels like something is not right. You guys are slandering his name, putting him next to Diddy. And it's starting to bother him. He, he went on a Twitter rant. He'd been on a Twitter rant for a couple of days, just writing nonsense about he's in the hood. He's from the streets. He, he He's this, that, and the third. He's reeling and real, all this good stuff. And I get it. When you're back against the wall, you want to lash out, right? But in my mind, I'm starting to think, I'm like, dog, like, really? We seen you in Diddy's pool. I'm just going to be honest. We seen you in Diddy's pool, half awake, half tired, half sleep. And Diddy talking about, yeah, daddy, you put in that work. Then this videotape, this audio, I'm sorry, not videotape, this audio tape proclaiming that it's you and Diddy having S-E-X together, right? The joint sound crazy. I, I personally couldn't listen to more than two seconds. I'm going to take y'all word for it, right? I'm going to say I don't, I'm not going to buy it that until I know for sure, but I don't know for sure because I'm never going to sit and listen to two grown men hammering it out, right? It sounds crazy to me. For, for the first two seconds of a, of a dude going crazy with another dude, I'm just going to check out. So I'm going to let y'all tell me. But allegedly there's an audio tape and the security guard claims that he recorded, he put the phone to the door because he heard them going, you know, doing the ooh pow pow and basically wanted to get it on tape. Now, there's rumors that Nicki Minaj is really behind that recording, and she paid homeboy to say that he recorded it so it wouldn't get back to her because she was trying to protect Diddy before Diddy got exposed. This is all conjecture. I don't know, but this is what it is. So all of this is conjecture. Meek Mill saying he don't know why his name is connected to Diddy's conjecture, conjecture because we've seen Meek and Diddy in several pictures, several situations together. I think Meek is trying to disassociate himself with Diddy. He's trying to make you prove that he is in Diddy's pocket. He's Diddy's homeboy. He's Diddy's little side piece, like y'all keep saying. He's trying to make you prove that, because really, when you peel back the layers, there really is no proof, proof, of what Meek is trying to, what, what you're trying to link Meek to. Now, I feel like I've seen enough of, of Diddy and Meek chilling and hanging out at these different parties and these different occasions, I'm almost certain Meek was like under the bad boy umbrella to a degree, like dead ass. Like, I know he was under Rick Ross and, and, and Wale and them camp for a little bit, for a long time. But I'm also certain that, correct me if I'm wrong, wasn't Diddy managing Meek's career to some degree? I, I may be wrong. Maybe I'm jumping out of, maybe I'm out of bounds with that, but... Meek wants to throw up 100K to a private investigative firm. First of all, I don't know what they're going to tell you that we don't already know. I don't know what they're going to, what kind of internet, like, search or, like, they're going to scrub to figure out why people think you're associated with Diddy. There's a lot of evidence linking you to a lot of these billionaires that are running around doing some funny business. I'm just going to be honest. I think a lot of people are scrambling to disassociate themselves with Diddy because Diddy's going down hard, right? I ain't got to say pause, I'm a grown man. But Diddy's going down hard, right? And I feel like Meek sees something coming and Meek is trying to move out of the way. He's like, How, why y'all keep... They ain't calling him buddy, right? 
Why, why y'all keep associating me with Buddy? If I'm not mistaken, wasn't Meek low-key? Low-key defending Diddy before he got charged. Correct me if I'm wrong. If I'm bugging, go in the comments and tell me, nah, Meek never defended Diddy. Meek was never online in Diddy's corner. Never, ever. It never happened, right? I'm almost certain there was some tweets a few weeks ago. And people was like, oh, you're standing by your man. Am I bugging out? So I don't know what the confusion is where Meek is trying to say, why y'all keep linking me with Diddy? What's good? I'm going to hire an investigative team. See, I think what I think Meek be doing be really trolling, bro. I think it's partially for the engagement. And it's partially because sometimes some dudes, no matter how much money they got or how much they, they appear to be connected with society, I think some dudes is really out of touch. I think low-key Meek might be like in the bathroom or in the shower or like in the bedroom of his own house just tweeting anything that he feels because he thinks that he's connected with what's going on out here in the real world. Meanwhile, the real world thinking you hand-in-hand hand with Diddy low-key hugged up. I'm just being honest. Now, I have no dog in the fight. I don't have no opinion one way or the other. Well, yes, I do. I, I, feel, I feel like there's smoke, there's fire. I'm not even going to sit here and try to be politically correct i feel like there's smoke and fire i'm just going to be honest there is smoke and there is fire when it comes to meek and this diddy now i don't know exactly what they doing but they definitely linked at the hip they definitely something like connected to a certain degree i'm not saying nothing disrespectful right i'm just saying they connected let's just say that i feel like they one and the same in a way where they both are traveling the same path let's just be honest Right now, I'm not going to vouch that the video, I mean, the audio is real. I'm not going to vouch that Meek has done anything salacious with Diddy. I don't have any proof of that. But I feel like with my own two eyes, I don't need a private investigator to tell me Meek is a little attached to Diddy low key in a way that ain't actually confusing or that's a little bit abnormal to me. So him, I think he's trolling us saying, what you keep linking me with Diddy for? I'll pay 100K to, to, to figure out what the media, now he's trying to put it on the media. Oh, po who's powering the media? He's alluding to some nefarious force out there powering the media, making it point to him to try to link him with this case. He's trying to move away as far as he can away from this Diddy stuff. And we keep pulling him back in. But guess what, Meek? You really already in. I'm just going to be honest, bro. So I don't think, I think you need to hold on to that 100K. That might be some lawyer fees. You've been at Diddy house way too much. There's been mad videos of you chilling at Diddy's house and you chilling with these bitty billionaires. You doing the bunny hop, which you try to explain is some gangster stuff. I don't understand. I've never did a bunny hop. I get to say, like you and your man, you say, oh, when you used to lose basketball game, you have to do a bunny hop. Okay, okay, okay. I get that. But them dudes you was hopping for in that video ain't from the hood. They ain't your boys. So why you hopping for them now? You see what I'm saying? If that's something y'all did when you was coming up, okay, it could stay there. But now they putting you on video doing a bunny hop for this billionaire. It don't look right, Meek. I'm just being honest with you. It don't look right. It don't play well. So I'm going to leave it at this. I think you should save that 100K. You might need that. And I get it. Meek is making money. Uh, he's getting locked in with these investment deals. That's what these rich guys do. They hang out and they give each other insider information and investment deals and, and, and give you first dibs on this and first. So Meek is locked in with Robert Kraft and, and this guy, that guy, and the third guy. So he don't really care what you're talking about. But at the same time, he's coming back down to reality with this Diddy arrest where you know what? Uh, hanging out with these billionaires low-key ain't that good for my career. And some of these dudes might be going to jail real soon. So I might have to clean up this whole situation. You know what I mean? So I think I think Meek coming back down to earth, he's starting to realize uh, all that glitters ain't gold. Hanging out with these billionaires will get you some money, but it might get you a whole lot of other stuff that you don't want. And I'm going to leave it at that. Let me know what you think in the comments. CLBMG. Again, we just hit 10,000 subscribers. This is my... YouTube birthday from this point on today is my 10,000 subscriber day. Show your boy some love. Send me something on that cash app. Show me I got some real love out there. I'm going to catch y'all on that flip side. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe. Hit the bell. Peace.
the mission impossible to drop a few lines without yeah. dropping old times when Southern Hill was still a gold mine. With pistol grips was my shit and I sold mine. When alias was not a show and they told mine. Elevate your mind with high quality THC infused products. BlackYeti.com. Black-Yeti.com. Help